Okay, so in a nutshell, here are some of the ways that stocks are impacted by interest rates. Um, and I'm just going to do them as they come to mind. So interest rates go down. Um, what happens over here? Corporate borrowing costs go down. Okay, so their interest expenses go down. All, thing, all things being equal, when expenses go down, what happens? Profits go up. And when profits go up, people want to buy your stocks. And when people want to buy your stocks, what happens? Their price goes up. Okay, there's one. Okay, here's another one. So, interest rates drop. Think in terms of your senior citizen who's been used to living on CD income to, uh, to supplement other retirement sources. And, of course, as you may know, CD rates are, are almost nothing. Therefore, these people, in fear of potentially spending all of their principal over time because they're not getting any yield, could very likely, and they do, and they have, step out on the risk curve and begin buying stocks, perhaps higher dividend paying stocks, in essence, accepting the potential volatility in hopes of preserving that principle that they know they can no longer preserve over here. And of course, those people buying stocks does what? Pushes their price higher. Okay. Here's another one. Interest rates go down. Okay. Um, borrowing costs, right? Folks who want to maybe mortgage a home and, and maybe borrow money from the bank, right? Well, it's cheaper. The idea is that when interest rates go down, people will borrow more and buy things like homes and automobiles and the kinds of things that, uh, that people buy with credit. And therefore, that, of course, would in theory, push up, or it would, presumably, all things being equal, push up profits, which makes stocks more attractive, which push up, push up, pushes up stock prices. Okay, and then one more, just to get a little, uh, little technical or a little wonky. Folks like me who track valuations, one of the one of the metrics we look at is price to earnings, or the PE multiple. Um, traditionally, when interest rates are lower stocks tend to tra trade at a higher price to earnings multiples okay again it makes sense because there's not much competition over here therefore the price of stocks can actually rise faster than earnings are rising for example if this represents earnings and this represents price per share earnings per share price to earnings multiple let's say it's this big well Interest rates go down, people pour money into stocks, perhaps stock prices rise faster than earnings, and that multiple expands. In fact, they call it multiple expansion. That tends to happen when interest rates go down. Okay. Um, so turn everything on its head, though, and you have the opposite. Interest rates go up, multiples contract, right, which means prices come down, so that can bring stock prices down. Folks um, borrow less money when interest rates go up, which means not as many home purchases or auto purchases, right? So therefore, um, profits go down, which can bring stocks down. Uh, interest rates go up. Seniors, in my example, begin to earn more, so they pull money back out of the stock market over into the fixed income market, and that also can make stocks go down. And um, what was the other one? Oh, corporate profits. Yeah, corporate profits would go down, all things being equal, when their interest expenses go up, and that also could bring prices down. Hope that all made sense. Uh, it was very, uh, very much in a nutshell, very simple, but um, that pretty much covers most of the areas and the reasons why stocks move when interest rates move. I'll be back.